So unless you're living under a rock at the moment, you know there's a massive hype train about AI. But I wonder how many of you are like me. I think it's amazing what tools like ChatGPT can do, but I'm not regularly using it to write my scripts or using something like Midjourney to generate beautiful concept art. And it's not because I don't think it's good, it's just hard to change habits when you're currently okay with what you're doing. I like writing these videos and I like drawing storyboards, however bad they may sometimes be. But today, that might all change with the launch of Upbeat's AI playlist generator, helping you to find music faster for your YouTube videos. So let's find out if it's any good. So Upbeat reached out to me and a bunch of other creators to test out this new feature, which is basically a music search engine powered by ChatGPT. The idea is by using natural language, you can save heaps of time by getting the AI to give you suggestions based on your search terms. If you've ever created a video before, you'll know the process of finding royalty-free music can be a time-consuming one. I personally enjoy sifting through music tracks, trying to find just the right ones for my video, but sometimes I wish I could be a little bit more specific in my search terms to narrow things down a little faster. For those of you who don't know, Upbeat is a free music service which allows you to download up to three tracks per month and not receive any copyright claims on YouTube. Now, for most regular creators, that obviously won't be enough, so they do offer a paid tier which adds sound effects, covers three channels here on YouTube, and is seriously good value compared to some of the other services out there. But what's the catch? Well, Upbeat is only for creators, meaning if you do paid client work like me, you'll need to go to their business plan for these jobs, which is more on par in pricing with services like Epidemic Sound and Artlist. So for full transparency, I am affiliated with Upbeat, but no money has changed hands and they don't get to see this video before it goes out. I care about my audience, you people, thank you so much for watching, and my opinion can't be bought. But today we need to find out two things about this next AI revolutionary feature. Does it work? And does it actually save you time? I don't know, is that even using my mind? All right, so let's get started. Full transparency, I have not used this at all. Actually, I have no idea how to access it on Upbeat, but we're gonna find out together. So I'm gonna use the introduction of the A7S video as my starting point of the track I'm trying to find. It doesn't have to be the same track. Obviously it won't be the same track, but I'm gonna go and give it a shot now. So I'm gonna use my phone as a bit of a timer just to see if uh, it's saving us any time. The thing obviously with uh, AI based everything, it's all prompt engineering, right? I think the quality of your results is always gonna come down to the quality of the input that you give it. And so it's actually a little bit of a skill, right? The AI is a bit of a skill, it's a bit of a, the language in a sense to, to be able to talk to the AI and to try and get the results you're looking for. So, I'm gonna hit start and I'm gonna describe my video and scene. You can do your video scene, it sounds like, your personality, or you just give ChatGPT anything you want. So, your video and scene. I feel like it sounds like, it's gonna sound like an epic intro to an awards show. It's my first time using it, so I'm kind of excited. <laughs> I'm really keen to see what it's gonna present back to you, uh, pre present back to me. All right, so part of this upbeat AI experience is it gives you a suitability score based on how relevant it thinks that it is. And you can save the playlist, it actually generates uh, a bit of a title for it and a description. While it could benefit from more heroic tracks, it's still an epic intro. All right, <laughs> this is really interesting. So, first track, ready? It's definitely more in line with what I'm after. Ooh, okay, all right. That's actually really good. <laughs> I mean, it loves this Aaron Paul low guy. Like it's just the entire playlist is basically his tracks, but I'm loving it. I'm gonna stop it there. We're at three minutes 40 now. And I, I feel like even though I don't have the track, the track that I'm gonna go for, I have a selection of tracks now. I actually have 20, yeah, 20 tracks that I can save to a playlist, my own playlist called Award Show Opener. And 
that's way faster than what I was doing before where I was just browsing what was on the front page of Upbeat and really struggling to find the right vibe. And it's always been one of the things with Upbeat for me is like, even though it's a great service, the search functionality compared to some of the other services is lacking a little bit. So this is kind of sort of leapfrogging over the other services by using ChatGPT. I don't know, I think it's pretty cool. I think this is something that I'm, we're gonna see in a lot of other different services come up at some point too. I believe you can also rejig it as well. Netbig intro to an awards show with rock, in, in, in the rock genre. Rock genre. Now it's obviously also gonna come down to the quality of Upbeat's catalog. You know, you're searching for things that will be in Upbeat's catalog. So if you are looking for a sound that's just not there for whatever reason, it's not gonna show up. The AI is not gonna magically generate it. We're not at that stage yet, thank God. Uh, well, I'm sure we'll get there. <laughs> but, so at the moment I've just gone ahead and, and redone that prompt again. And so 68%, it's a keeper. It's got a little diamond there, cute. So this is a little bit different than what we saw before. I mean, I kind of love it. I mean, I love the fact that this isn't AI doing it for you. This isn't AI going ahead and scoring an entire YouTube video. This isn't AI making a whole bunch of decisions for you. This is you typing in uh, a prompt to get some better results, some results that are more suited to what you're after. And that to me is super exciting because I just feel like it's something I'd use. I'd regularly want to use because it'd just be a matter of what am I thinking of for this, this track? What's the feeling? What's the vibe? It's not even a, I know I want this genre, but maybe I want it to sound like something. I want it to sound like, uh, you know, feeling happy on an autumn's day. Something that's really abstract that would be really hard to write into any search prompt, any normal search text box. And now you can sort of describe it to ChatGPT through Upbeat and have a whole playlist generated for you, which is pretty insane. So one week on, what's the verdict? You can probably already tell, but I'm impressed. And I hope you can also see the possibilities too. While I dislike the idea of AI replacing me and the work I create, I do like the idea of AI saving me time on tasks I can often get stuck on. In most cases, I'm not struggling to find music because I don't know what I want, but because the track I'm looking for might be buried under some keywords I'm simply not searching for. What you've been hearing in this video has all been scored by Upbeat's new AI search, and I'm keen to keep using it on my future projects too. If you'd like to try it out, there's a link in the description below, and let me know if you have any questions as well. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you're enjoying the content, and I look forward to seeing you all in the next one.